Hi everyone, thank you very much for coming for this tutorial on natural language processing for machine information retrieval. So, this is the web of the tutorial, the, the slides are available here, so you can make them up later on, or not if you want. So, this tutorial, we are uh, Luis and me that we will uh, do the tutorial. We are PhD students here at the Ponte Fabra, and I am doing my PhD in Music Information Retrieval, and Luis is doing his PhD in Natural Language Processing. So this is mostly the joint work that we have been doing with <coughs> or during our PhD. It's not a comprehensive uh, analysis of the state of the art in natural language processing in MIR. It's a uh, focus on the aspects we have worked no? and uh, so that we think is the um, most interesting areas now that uh, there can be an intersection between these areas. So, we have had the advice of our thesis advisors, uh, Horacio Sajon, the thesis advisor, and Sarah is my advisor. And we have a joint project here in the Pompeu Fabra that is called Music Meets NLP, where well, we have this tutorial is supported by this project and is supported by Maria and Max. So, okay, the objectives of this tutorial are. Well, provide a general introduction to NLP first, then try to address what, which areas of NLP might be interesting to use in MIR, and then address the extraction of semantic information from texts and how to exploit this semantic information in, in music information retrieval and musicology. And finally, illustrate some latest tendencies in, in natural language processing that can be also applied in MIR. So, why semantic information? So in, in, in a typical MIR problem, we, we can use the audio, typically, the, the audio of, of, of the audio form <coughs> and, and use the audio for, for the task, we can, the raw audio. Or we can get some low level features from the audio, describing the audio, and use these features in our task. That can be a machine learning, classification, whatever we want to do. So we take this low level features, or we can even extract high level features from the audio. We can extract semantics like the mood, the genre, instruments, or high level features and use it in, in the misinformation retrieval task. So this is a typical pipeline in MIR idea. So what happened with text? We can also use text in MIR. We can take the raw text and use it, call the words, and, and, and use these 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 things in in a in a in a task we can get surface features from the text like part of a speech tags or other uh, surface features and use that for for the task so there have been many papers in in MIR using these approaches that use like vector space models part of a speech tags uh, concurrence and uh, uh, but we are not working on, on this this tutorial so this has been done so what, what we propose is okay we can also get high level features from text in the same way that happens with the audio we can get semantics from the text and then use these high level semantic representations in the in the tasks so these semantic representations can also come from the semantic web and there have been some research in MIR also using semantic web uh, as a representation in MIR. So this tutorial is focused on, on these two aspects. One is how to get these high level features from texts and how to exploit them in MIR. So may, most of the research in, in MIR also dealing with text are, are based on lyrics corpora. And few of them using other kind of texts like biographies, blog forums, encyclopedias, digital libraries, and this tutorial is also focused on, on this task. We are not working with lyrics, we are working with biographies, with digital libraries, uh, information that talks about music. And that's it. The outline of the talk is this. First, we are going to start with an introduction to NLP to define all the concepts in NLP in case you don't have experience with NLP before. Then we are going to focus more on information extraction. That is a task in NLP. We, are, we have been working uh, more on that. And, and, and then how to build missing knowledge base, how to extract some of the information from text in a way. And then the application.
application. How to apply that in a Bayard, how to apply that in musicology, and then finally we will talk about more latest uh, tendencies like le lexical semantics and deep learning, and, yeah, and some conclusions at the end. So let's start with Greece that will give this introduction to NLP.